Hello there, I hope you're doing well, having a great day, and welcome to my impressions video for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Raven Software and Triarch, who make in this installment of Call of Duty, have done a great job, and I'm really enjoying what I've played so far. They've got a lot to live up to. In 2019, Infinity Ward did Modern Warfare that looked beautiful and played very well. And of course it had the Warzone Battle Royale mode as well, which was free to play. And a lot of people are still playing that and enjoying it. So Raven Software and Triarch have a lot to do to pull people away from Modern Warfare. Now they haven't tried to compete with Warzone, they haven't done a Battle Royale mode. And that would be a bit pointless anyway because it's free to play. So they're not trying to get more money out of you. <laughs> but all the other modes that you typically get with Modern Warfare are there. Domination, you Kill Confirm, all those sort of classic modes that I really enjoy playing are there. And the movement speed in Cold War is spot on. I, I love it, it's quite dynamic. You can run around and slide and jump. You haven't got the wall running uh, or all the special abilities of, of previous Black Ops games, but that makes sense because this is set in the 1980s. And if you want all that really, then play like Apex or Destiny. You don't really need that in Call of Duty, in my opinion. But if you do appreciate all that, if you do like all those special abilities, you might be a bit disappointed in that respect. But you know, you've got to mix things up a bit. And I think taking that out for this installment was the right idea. And the movement's good anyway, like the sliding and running, boots on the ground sort of movement is really dynamic. I mean, I play a lot of Apex, so when I go to another multiplayer, uh, because of Apex fast movement, other multiplayers can feel a bit static. But I didn't get that impression with Cold War, it felt really nice to play. And the gunplay's really good, I love the recoil on the guns, I love the sound of the guns, I've played lots of different weapons, uh, they all seemed viable, obviously there's going to be you know, balancing issues and things will be rebalanced, it's only a beta. A solid starting point for Raven Software and Triarch, I think people are going to enjoy this. I certainly did. I actually had more fun with this than any multiplayer Call of Duty in recent memory. Now, there were a few server errors, obviously this is a sort of stress test, but you know, there's only one or two, you know, that's to be expected. The game itself never frozen me in game. I was playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro and it seemed very stable. So yeah, really good impressions. I like the maps. I really like the maps. You've got Miami, you've got uh, the cartel map, crossroads, the Moscow map, there's good variety, lots of different terrains, and you've got like snowy crossroads map, which I enjoyed, you know, different size maps. Maps are quite dense, there is a lot of geometry on the maps, some people may not appreciate that, but I like dipping into cover, so I really appreciate them. Now, the time to kill, I think, is crucial in a Call of Duty, and the time to kill in Cold War, I think, is spot on. I like a longer time to kill. I know that's not necessarily realistic, but in terms of gameplay, in terms of map awareness, of being able to use cover, I find that gives more variety and makes the gameplay more interesting. If you get flanked, I like the ability to get out of trouble. You know, if you're quick enough to react and you use cover well, I think you should have an opportunity to get into cover and get out of that situation and then re-engage. As long as the time to kill isn't too long, because that can be frustrating, because then you can never really finish a kill once people get good at the game. But I think with Cold War, I've got it absolutely spot on. Now there is a VIP mode as well, which I liked, where one person on your team is selected to be the VIP, and then you've got to run around protecting them. It's quite funny. Sometimes the VIPs just go rogue, and you're like, what are you doing? And that can be a bit frustrating. But yeah, the other team then has to stop you from protecting your VIP, and the VIP has to get to an extraction point and then extract. And obviously, you know, <laughs> that can take a while when they're trying to get up the rope and get out of there. So it's easy for them to get sniped or shot you do have to uh, follow the VIP you can't just go off and do your own thing you have to protect the VIP and, and most people seem to be doing that most people were playing the objective which is to protect the VIP enjoyed that but yeah the dirty bomb mode that is really cool uh, you kind of parachute in battle royale style and you have to load up the dirty bombs with radioactive material that you get from killing people or find on the map and you have to arm it and when you get shot, uh, you can actually be revived. So it definitely had a real battle royale style to it. And of course, the bombs are the hot spots. But being able to parachute in and get straight into the action was cool. And there's lots of vehicles as well. You know, there's tanks and no mobiles and, and helicopters. You've got all the vehicles. The vehicle handling wasn't brilliant. I think I could be tweaked a bit. It didn't feel as smooth to 
to drive the vehicles as I expected. It's not bad, but it just needs a bit of tweaking. Obviously, they got, they got time to do that. Now, my favourite map is Armada. Now, this map is in the ocean, and you have this big boat, and there's smaller boats around it, submerged, and there's zip wires between the boats. Now, some people might find those zip wires a bit exposed. They may not like that. But I thought the zip wires really made it because that gives you that kind of risk reward. And as long as you've got backup, you can get across them. They could get camped. I never really noticed that happening though. But I loved the ocean setting and I loved the actual ships themselves. They're really, really nicely done, really look good. And when you go in the ocean, the swimming is spot on. Like you really feel that buoyancy, the physics, when you go under the water, you feel as though you're being weighed down and you're struggling to get to the surface. I thought the swimming was just absolutely spot on. I really enjoyed that. So that's by far my favorite map. And whenever you could vote for a map, I would always vote for Armada. Now with sniping, it is a one shot kills. Uh, sniping is actually quite viable. There is a, a long ADS time with the sniper scopes. So quick scoping is restricted, but you can still do it. You know, you can still scope as someone's come around a corner and get a one shot kill. I enjoyed the sniping. Now the intros to the different matches are really fun. Some people might find them a bit silly. You often come in all together on some sort of vehicle uh, and then you sort of get into the action together. And I really felt that that really kind of got me into it. Like got me excited for the match. So they might be a bit silly, but I really appreciate those. Okay, so a solid entry, great starting point for Cold War. I hope you give it a go if you get the opportunity. I'm going to play some more of it. If you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. That would really be appreciated. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Artillery awaiting target coordinates. Mission goals accomplished. Kettle's on, come on home.